Hey, it's Christy with Edder Creations, and today I'm going to show you how to use a Google form to collect uh, information, whether it's as a survey or other uh, questions you might have from your audience. And in another video, I had showed you how to use a Canva website to collect emails and how to add the link to that contact form. But then I started getting lots of questions on how to actually create the form. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, so I'm gonna go right into Google. So of course you've gotta be logged into your Google account for this. And then you're going to uh, click onto the menu and then look for forms right here. All right, so there is form. So once you come here, then you can just start, you can either choose a template or which what I do is really just start with a blank form. So then this is going to take you into the section where you're actually going to create the form. And if there's any little notifications, you can clear those out. Uh, you can title the form. I'm just gonna title this demo. And then this is really where you're gonna create your form. Um, really what the purpose of a form like this you could create use it as a contact form uh, if someone wants to reach you you could collect the responses on this form you can use it as a survey you can use it to collect testimonials all kinds of things so i'll just briefly show you how to do that uh, here of course it shows the title which i had put up here but if you want to add something more you can add that here demo for this contact form. All right. And it has options where you can bold or, you know, do other things with the text if you want. But this is not meant to be like a super fancy kind of form. It's, you know, really just a basic form. And this is the email. And of course, you want to get the person's email. That's why it's required in order to be able to respond back to them. And then this is where you're going to add questions. So you have options here. You'll see here on the left where you can add a question and you can import questions. I guess that's if you have other forms you want to import from. You can add a title and description. You can add images, even video now. So you do have other options. Um, but really what we would just want to do is add a question. So and then you have options here. You have multiple choice. You can do a short answer question, paragraph, multiple choice, drop down. So you have different options here. I'm just going to do short answer. And this is where you're going to put the question. I'm just going to just to have something in here. Just going to have what is your name? And then the person would put their name. Now, if you wanted to do a like a multiple choice question, what is your favorite? drink okay and so then here if you're going to do a multiple choice question then you would add the options here so i could put coffee i can add another option tea you can add as many as you want so i'm just adding these in here add option and it's always going to have an other option so it will always have that and then an other so if someone has an answer that's different from what you have here. So you can see we're building this form out for whatever the questions that you want to have. So you can just keep adding different questions. If you have one that's, um, you, if you prefer a checkbox over a, a little circle, you can do that. So you have different options here. Um, what is your favorite color? There we go. All right. Just so you can see how that works. Now, inside of, if you click on one of the questions, you here have the option to make it an, uh, a required question and they have to answer, or you can untoggle it so that it's an optional question. If, like with, with what's your name, you probably want that to be a required um, question. This, maybe this is just an optional question and so forth. So you have options there. Um, so that's pretty much how this works. And then once you uh, give someone the link to this form, your responses are going to show up in here. And I'll show you an example of that for a survey that I that I have from 
that I had already set up from last year. This one, um, I was getting some feedback from my subscribers on some questions of where they were on their digital product journey. So I had some multiple choice questions. I had some shorter and long answer questions, right? And here is where the responses, when someone fills out the form, you'll see where the responses on your end. And what's really neat here is that under this first question, where it was a multiple choice, it shows a wheel that shows the percentage of how people answered. So most people answered, I have some experience, but I'm struggling to get traffic or sales. So it's really nice because it gives you a quick picture of, you know, where your audience is as far as their answer on things. And then I have all the answers from this question and from this and so on. And so this just has all the answers, but you can also look at the responses individually. So you can look, this is a summary here, whereas you can also look at the individual answers that people gave you. So this first person, this is what this person answered for these questions, right? And so forth. And question, yeah. So it'll show you how many responses you got here for each question. So it's, it's really a great tool. And so this is something that you can set up right inside of, um, of Google. Obviously you have to have a, a Gmail account in order to do this. And then once you have the form set up the way you want, you can click this button right here and then you can preview it. So, I'm not going to show you that because then it's going to show my email and everything, but that's what you would do in order to see what the form looks like. And when it's all ready to go, don't forget to hit publish. So you'll publish it and then it'll just ask you who you want to have access. So anyone with the link that you're going to share this with and then hit publish. And then it is officially published. And so anyone that you share that link with, will get access to the form. So once you're ready to send this link or to put it on your website, then you would just click this button here that says send. And this is where you're going to, you know, get the link that you're going to share, uh, whether it's, you know, on your email and you have different options here. You can just get the link here or you can shorten the URL this way. So you would just shorten this URL and then this link is what you would give your audience, copy that, and um, then you're good to go. And that is pretty much everything as far as creating a form. And if you want to get fancy, you can do that. You can change the theme. You can change the color. There's different settings here. Um, so, you know, you can make it fancier if you want, but for, for the purpose of what I use them for, you know, they're pretty basic. It's just, you know, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? It's just to get feedback. And I hope this helped. And if you wanted to go back and see the other video, I'll leave that link where I showed you how to use this form to collect emails on a Canva website or any website, really. Um, you know, if you don't have a form, then this is an easy way to do it. All right, well, I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, let me know down below and be sure to follow, like this video and subscribe. I would so much appreciate it. All right, have an awesome day.